Hello, welcome to Label Connector for QuickBooks Online. Uh, so you've connected to our app and you've opened up Label Connector and this is the first screen that you see. So I want to kind of guide you from here on how to create your first label and get you printing labels as quickly as possible. Uh, first of all, there's two kind of main screens for the Label Connector. There's this screen for designing your label and you'll be defaulted to be sent here if you don't have any label designs created yet. And then there's the search and print label screen which basically allows you to query for and pull in all kinds of data from your QuickBooks Online for printing labels and the label design will map the data fields over to your label. Um, so getting back into the label designer screen you will need to have a label style printer the type of printer that has labels on a roll or fan folded one after the other uh, if you need help sourcing one of those, uh, AccuWare can help you with that. Give us a call anytime at 630-858-8409. Um, we can kind of guide you through kind of getting a label printer. Now you will have to set the page size in your label printer to the same page size that you're using here. So um, I've created kind of a, a template here to just go through briefly an explanation on each of the different types of fields you can add to a label design and we're going to have uh, more extensive videos on each of the field types like you can add text fields barcode fields lines or images to your label okay so uh, basically the way this works is if you have a field on the label I'm, I'm going to tempor temporarily remo remove this one let's uh, if we want to use let's say an item your QuickBooks item in a barcode. Uh, you can also use any of these other fields and make a barcode out of them, the SKU or any of the custom fields. Then basically you just drag that out uh, onto the label. Um, you know, the other way to do that would be to just just drag from the main barcode toolbar and then go over to the data source list here and drag the data source into the barcode to kind of connect that place in QuickBooks to the barcode. So it's not that hard, but we can go over that with you. So that kind of gives you an overview of barcodes. We can um, get into uh, all the different symbologies and you can orient this sideways, all kinds of things you can do with barcodes. Um, we have a text field here uh, that you can add um, and you can justify that to the center as I've done here. So we'll just remove this for now. If we want to like add this description text field into the label, we can just drag that out from the data source list like this. And a lot of times with a with a description you want to have a little bit more room for it. If you want it to word wrap down onto a couple lines, you can move that down, keep it away from the bottom edge of the label like that. Um, and we'll get into kind of how to center justify, left justify, all the different ways, the font selection. There's lots of details we can get into. And those are all contained when you have the field highlighted here. You can get at all of those, you know, under these different, you know, attributes here. Like here's the font style, the font size, etc. So we'll just uh, move the uh, text orientation here. Maybe I'll just center align this for now. Um, and then lastly, uh, images. Um, when you're adding an image, uh, you just simply drag out the image icon onto the label. Okay, and we s highly suggest using squeeze as the kind of default um, sizing. And then you go ahead and just browse to your image file that you've got here for your logo or whatever it is. And you just might need to drag this out and, and resize it slightly. Um, you know, to kind of get it to look the way you want on the label, put it in the middle uh, or wherever you want to put it in the corner. So you can add logos. Um, here we're, uh, we've got a, a line that we've added to the label. In case you want to frame something and have sections on your label, you can just add a line by dragging this out, placing it. I kind of line it up with the left side and just drag this side over. And again, under the settings, you can change like the line width and things like that. So, so you can kind of go over here and use these ready-made text fields to just drag them out and get those QuickBooks text fields onto your label. Uh, and then when you have a particular field highlighted to get at the attributes and the details of it, you can go to the settings for that highlighted uh, field right here. 
So that changes, you know, all the different things you can affect for that field. So now that we've got this label saved, um, let's go ahead and just save this. If we go into the design, uh, into the printing environment, uh, you'll see it's already defaulted to save that last label that we were working on. Um, so you can use the item list to print labels, and that that template we made is going to work for any of these modes. Um, we can get into kind of like if you have an address on there on the label then you're probably going to want to use one of the order types right because there won't be any address information associated with just an item <clears throat> but you can see here if we get into printing this um, just pick like a an, an item here to just start with go ahead and print it you can see we're going to generate that 4x3 label here um, and again, in the attributes of your printer, you're going to want to set the page size to 4x3. It's pulled in the data from that item with its item and a barcode description and in that image. Uh, we added the image file. So um, get back into the printing screen here. Here's an example of if you wanted to print you know, labels for an invoice, and you can do it for any of these order types. You can pull up the order. Uh, let me see here. Whoops, I put in an extra zero there. And we select all the items by default. It's ready to go. In this case, um, you can print, you know, the the order quantity for each label, um, or you can just print one of each of the items, depending on whether you print, you, you press the regular print button or the print one button. Uh, in this case, we'll just go ahead and we'll print like the order quantity. Uh, as an example for each of these items. So it should print one of the first item, two of the second, and one of the third. So you could have an, an order with 200 items on it and we're just going to send that all to the printer with one click. So you see here we're uh, generating one of the first item, two of the second item, and one of the third item. So it's ready to go rapid printing uh, for getting your labels done quickly and easily in Label Connector. Um, we are going to kind of get into uh, like sort of a, a chapter based video where you can um, if you want more help with barcodes, with text fields, um, and with other ways to design a label we'll get into more detail on each one of those but again if you have any questions um, please give us a call at AccuWare at 630-858 8409. Thank you.